Hey boob! Welcome to my what I wore on holiday, seven outfits. This is just some of the outfits that I wore over two weeks of being in hot and sweaty, sunny California. Basically just the outfits I could be bothered to film when I wasn't sweating my nipples off. First day of my holiday, look at the enthusiasm in my eyes that soon fades as the heat takes over my soul. I'm only joking, like, it was not as hot as I thought it was going to be, but it was still, you know, sweaty-tastic. But that's not the only thing that fades. Keep an eye on my hair throughout this video. Extensions here were super cheap and nasty ones from eBay. I do not recommend these ratty-ass rat tails. The white dots on my face are Stargazer Liquid Eyeliner. Stargazer eyeliners are a great budget option. They're about two, three pounds on eBay. They last really well, especially the white one. I went for really light makeup pretty much throughout my whole holiday and for all these looks simply because I suffer from hay fever and the pollen where we were staying was like where you go camping intense it was really hard and as soon as i did my makeup on the first day i left the house and my eyes watered and it pretty much all came off so i've got subtler makeup than i would usually wear but i hope i made it work black lipstick is killstar coven liquid lipstick in shade void Padlock chain necklace was from Etsy, I believe. I've had it a long time, so I'm not sure. And the dress is my favorite dress ever. It is the Mary Wyatt Delirium Midi Dress. Though I'm so sure it's actually a maxi dress on me. The leg splits move when you walk and it's so flattering to my curvy lumps and bumps. I'm gonna break your achy breaky heart right now. I believe Mary Wyatt does not sell this dress anymore. Ah! But they do have some amazing clothes, so definitely check them out. And I wear this to a lot of events that I've been to. It makes it makes me look like I've I know what I'm doing in life, but I've really got no freaking idea. The fabric is really soft mesh, and if you can find one of these dresses anywhere because it is now discontinued, snap that bad boy up. The belt is the ore belt from Disturbia. I friggin' love this belt, though it only comes in two sizes and they are small to medium and medium to large, which sucks. I'm wearing the small to medium. I did originally get this in the medium to large and I would say at max it would fit up to a size 16 to 18. The fishnet cycle shorts were two pound fitty from Primark. So no Loch Ness Monsters coming after you for your tree fitting. I packed about five pairs of these for my holiday. I wear them under pretty much any dress I wear, whenever I wear dresses, just because I like my thighs covered up, but they do not, do not stop chub rub. But they look super cute and they jazz up dresses really easily. And the sandals are from Ego. They've been worn a handful of times and the soles are already wearing down. Cute, but I'd avoid. That would be my tagline if I was a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Cute, but definitely avoid me. <laughs> Outfit two. Hair is already getting greasy. Thanks sweat and thanks brain for forgetting Le Dra Shampoo. Oh my God, I look so tired. Jet lag is well and truly setting in at this point. My pink hair dye is Flamingo Pink by Directions. And like I said, for outfit one, it does fade significantly throughout this video. I know hair dye is different for everybody, but this was, my hair was having none of this pink. Lipstick is Jolie Beauty Liquid Lipstick in shade Bittersweet. It's a perfect pinky mauve everyday low maintenance shade. And the duo chain necklace is from an old Killstar belt. The It's Showtime Beetlejuice t-shirt is from Murder Apparel. I've had this for a few years and it's still going strong. I would definitely recommend this brand. Though I don't hear many people talk about Murder Apparel, but I think the t-shirts that I have from them are such good quality. 
The O-ring bell is an oldie, I think, from ASOS. I can't remember. It is starting to fall apart now. Um, ever since Ben, my partner, started wearing it. Before that, it was absolutely fine. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> uh, but it has lasted well until that bitch stole it from me. The skirt was from Depop, it was originally from Boohoo, and it was white with black Dalmatian print all over. I hand dyed the polyester skirt using Rit dye, more synthetic dye. You can't do it in a washing machine, you have to do it in a big pot. And the dye is shade graphite. I was hoping it would come out blacker than this, but I'm not unhappy with how it came out. It is super patchy though, but I kind of like that. It kind of adds a bit of texture to the skirt. I love how flowy this skirt is, and it has an elasticated waist, so it's great for all you can eat buffets. Socks are probably from Primark, and the shoes are my New Rock Tower platforms that were originally one to 200 pound, but I snagged them when TK Maxx had loads for 25 pounds a pair. Short and sweet. Unlike me, I'm short and feisty. This is a super casual look, perfect for Californian sunshine. If I were wearing this back home, I would goth it up a little bit more with maybe a cardigan or some bigger boots, but because it's so light and flowy, it is perfect for the California sun. I tied my hair up today and instantly regretted it. I ended up with such a sunburnt red lobster neck. Yeah, that was fun to sleep on that night. My liquid lipstick is Jolie Beauty Black Demise and all the eyeshadow looks for this whole video were from the Jolie Beauty Ethereality palette. You can get 10% off at Jolie Beauty with code EMILYBOO as well. Don't say I don't give you anything. <laughs> Chain necklaces are from Vicious Punks. I love, love, love their chain jewellery, but their body jewellery is absolute trash. Can you tell I went to America? It's trash, it's garbage. So please avoid that at all costs. But their chain necklaces are the bomb. The Batwing cardigan is my granny cardi from Primark. It's so comfortable. It's actually my clubbing cardigan. I shove it in my bag when I go on nights out because it, it can scrunch up quite small. You know when you're going out and you, you know you're going to leave a club at like 3am and you know you're going to be cold and drunk, this is that cardigan. Some people take flat shoes, I take my granny cardi. It also makes my armpits look like a Batman cape, so extra win. This dress has been in my wardrobe for years and I will never get rid of it. I don't care if it doesn't fit me anymore, I will keep this dress forever. It's from Vixen but has unfortunately been discontinued now so I could not find the name of it. Sad times. I did originally have a faux leather belt around it, so it does have belt loops, but I didn't like that belt, so I never wear it. The mesh at the bottom of the dress is so flowy and free, and it has a heavier underskirt sewn underneath it, so you don't have to worry about the wind flashing your gash. The dress is high neck and open back. I'm not too keen on the open back because the, it comes down so low it does show off your bra straps. I've tried wearing it without a bra but the top half is very thin and my nipples do bullet out of it. So I do tend to wear this with a cardigan or an overshirt or just a jacket, something that covers up the back. One of you guys did recommend wearing it with a lace bralette, which I will definitely do from now on, but it was way too hot in California to put a bralette under this. The belt is the Disturbia Ore belt again, because <gasps> why not? And Ego sandals again, because I only took two pairs of shoes with me for this whole holiday. Size down in the sandals because they do come up big. Oh, and look at this super cute Billy Witch we found. The bug was actually hissing at us, so we took a picture and then put him down safely. 
but he was super cute for a hissing bitch. Hat is a old one from Boohoo and the rim is the perfect width for my little moon face and I love it. I feel like this whole video so far has been, oh I got this but it's really old. I've got this. I'm a keeper. I mainly took staple pieces with me for this holiday. Things that I know would be really comfortable and lightweight to pack so yeah that's why there's a lot of old things in this vid. I'm rocking the no eyebrows look today. My sweaty brow kept smudging my eyebrows so I was done with it on this day. Plus I love the no eyebrows look. Takes me back to Murder Dolls fan 13 year old Boo. When I first shaved my head and I first shaved off my eyebrows. Eyeshadow again is the Ethereality palette from Jolie Beauty. I actually wish I had taken my other palette with me, my Jolie Beauty Sorceress palette. I feel like the darker purples would have worked a lot better with pretty much all of these outfits but I just got the Ethereality palette and I really wanted to try it out and I absolutely love it but I do feel like my Sorceress palette would have looked better. And the liquid lipstick here is Jolie Beauty Black Demise and the Mauve Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Both necklaces were from Etsy, but the sword one has started to go copper already, so I would avoid it because that looks nasty. Dress is, again, very, very old Killstar one. It's called the Potion Princess dress and I'm wearing a size medium. It's been discontinued for years now, but if you're able to find one on Depop or online anywhere, go for it because it is so comfortable. And I've worn and washed this well over a hundred times and it still looks really, really good. This is why I get so frustrated with Killstar because this is their, from their old range and it's still going very strong. It has three silver hardware spiders down the front. They're not buttons, they're purely decorative. And it also has a mesh chest. That I particularly love the chest bit because I don't really have my chest tattoo out very often and this is a way for me to have it out but not have it out. Meshy cycle shorts again. Primark. And thick plain black socks, probably again from Primark. And my £25 New Rock Tower boots. Really simple, casual, comfy, very everyday Emily outfit. Love it. Outfit five. Purple sunglasses are prescription and they are only £35 from Firmu. Bangin'. Thank you for helping my cheap ass out, Firmu. I have a full review of these in uh, another video. I will link that at the end if you want more information on them because I think they're amazing. Here's a behind the scenes of my assistants for this lookbook. This is Mika and Herb. They were very good at helping me get good poses and cute shots. Lipstick is once again the Jolie Demise and Bittersweet, my current favourite combo. I, again, like the eyeshadow palette, I wish I had taken more lipstick with me, but I haven't been on holiday for such a long time and I just, honestly, I just wasn't thinking. Vicious Punk's Chunky Chain. This is one of my favourite necklaces ever. And the dress is the Mary Wyatt Om, did I say that right? O-H-M? Organic smock dress. And I pretty much live in this. It is quite a thick dress. It is lovely for summer, but I would definitely say it's more of an autumn spring dress and you can get 10% off your first 50 plus order at Mary Wyatt with code Emily Boo. This dress is quite oversized so I would recommend sizing down but you will not regret getting this dress. The faux leather jacket was from Primark years ago and I have just chucked loads of rubbish on over the years. The spikes on the collar are acrylic and they are super lightweight. They are from eBay. I got a really big bag of like 50 for a couple of quid. 
and the pins are from mainly punky pins one of them is from Chessington theme park though only the cool kids will know which one The three-quarter leggings were from Leg Avenue. They have ripped super quickly though, right on my gusset, after only a few wears. And it's so annoying that they've ripped on my fanny because now they do not stop chub rub and that's the main reason that I wear thick leggings under my dresses. You can get some from Primark for about three pound though and they last a lot longer than the Leg Avenue ones did. And the shoes are my new rocks. She has been determined not to let me film, so thumbs up this video for Mika. Look at you, you crazy thing! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> Let's have some shorts, shall we? My hair is getting so light now, and oh my god, the sun has made my fringe grow. Is this a thing? Does the sun make your hair grow? Because I usually avoid the sun, and uh, I feel like my fringe grew six miles in the two weeks I was away on holiday. Boohoo hat again to protect my little sunburned neck. Lipstick is Killstar Coven Void and the purple, which is kind of hard to see, is a monochrome purple from VE Cosmetics. They are a vegan, cruelty-free brand and this is Magical Essence Pigment in shade Manifest Dreams. It is super smooth and I really, really recommend it. It was my first experience with pigment shades and oh my god, I don't think I will go back. I did try it on my eyes on, on another day, which I didn't outfit vlog. And again, it was so smooth and so easy. No fallout, no spillage. It doesn't blend, which is a little bit annoying, but I suppose you can't have it both ways. But yeah, I love this. Sunnies are again from Firmu. Thanks, babe. And the duo chain again is from Vicious Punks. The top is the Mary Wyatt Ripper Vest. I'm wearing a size 12 and it fits perfectly. It is a crop top and it looks great with high waist things. I would usually wear this with a high waist plain black skirt, maybe the ASOS belt from earlier, but, um, but today I've teamed it with shorts. The top helps give my body a really cute hourglass shape instead of the usual coke can one that I have. The overshirt was from Depop but is originally from Boohoo and it's super comfy. And I'm wearing a size medium. It's perfect for when I want to dress cute for summer but maybe aren't feeling so confident and I want to cover up. I especially like my arms covered up. That was one reason I was hesitant to get this Mary Wyatt top because it is sleeveless but the way the straps go at the front of your chest it's really flattering. The top and the overshirt together are cute, comfy, what more could you want? Winner winner chicken dinner. The shorts I think are DIY'd from years ago, I've had them forever. They're high waist, they're mega ripped, they're actually too mega ripped. That big rip on the side, on the left side, is so big that if I manoeuvre myself incorrectly, you can see my fanny lips. But they're cute. The shorts not my flange. These shorts do also accentuate my mum tum which has made me not wear them as often but one of my friends Miss Jigglepuff is plus size model and she has been very much encouraging me to just wear what I want. It doesn't matter if I have a mum tum. Because of her I'm learning to love my shape so much more so shout out to Miss Jigglepuff. Plus I was also too sweaty to care. <laughs> 
my whole motto this holiday was, well, I'm never going to see these people again. So if I look shit, they don't know who I am. I'm just some British harpy that came to eat all their McDonald's. And the belt chain is from a very old one size Killstar belt, which believe it or not, was not one size. I gave the belt to my friend and I kept the chains from them and I usually wear them as necklaces. And the shoes are my new rocks again. They are perfect everyday footwear, so I'm so glad I brought them with me. And last but not least, this is outfit seven. This was actually the last day of our holiday and I washed my hair three times max and the ends are almost blonde again. Thanks directions, I'll definitely be going back to my green. I was missing the green anyway, but I just fancied a little change. I wanted a comfy aeroplane outfit and I think I did good with this. This was perfect for an 11 hour flight. Lips are once again Jolie Beauty Bittersweet Mauve Liquid Lipstick. And both chain necklaces are from Etsy. The belt, again, is my old one from ASOS. Belts are a great way to jazz up an outfit and make it look like you've made an effort when you really haven't. You just chucked a scabby old belt on. The mesh dress was from Depop originally, but the labels say Topshop. I'm wearing a size UK 10, which is a size too small, but it was so cheap I could not leave Depop without buying this dress. And especially after eating all the American food, it was even tighter than when I left the UK. It's still super comfy though. It has an attached strappy underneath dress, which does ride up when I walk, but that could be because the dress is a size too small. I love the elastic puffy sleeves. They add a little bit more oomph to the dress make it a little bit more what you looking at i don't know i just love these puffy little sleeves and the leggings were tights from poundland at halloween yep you heard me right ladies and gentlemen and everything in between they were one pound i stock up every halloween at poundland i stock up on their black and white stripey types you can't go wrong for a pound and i cut the feet off them made them a little bit shorter and boom three quarter leggings i also wear these as arm tights as well cut the feet off and cut a hole in the in the gusset and you've got a pair of sleeves and you can't go wrong really one pound and they last so well Socks are probably Primark because I get all my socks from Primark. They make cushioned sole socks, so they are perfect if you wear bigger platforms every day, just to help give your feet a little bit of rest from the pressure of the platforms. And the shoes, once again, are my new rocks. Yes, you can take new rocks through the airport. You just have to take them off at the scanner. I was so nervous about this because um, I watched nothing to declare and I've seen people hide drugs in their shoes and I was like, oh, what if they think I've got drugs in my shoes? Oh, what if I have got drugs in my shoes? But no, no problem at all. You just have to take them off before the scanner. My little helper. It's 6 a.m. We gotta catch our flight and I just... <laughs> I am so tired. I cannot believe how much my hair has faded. I was really enjoying the pink, but come on, this is two or three washes. Nah, bruv, not having it. So today we fly home. We can move playing with toys. We fly home today. It's the end of my holiday. Two luscious weeks in California. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, bro. I want to stay here. But I hope you enjoyed watching my outfits. This is just a few of the outfits that I wore over the seven days. My lazy, comfy, too freaking hot, lazy outfits. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it. I'm going to go. Much love, boobs. Thank you for watching. Take care. And most of all, stay weird.